What's going on guys? My name is Citizen Nuketown and welcome back. Another video for me. I, I know I've not really been busy. Well, I've not been active this week at all. I've been really busy with exams and schoolwork and other fun stuff like that, aka not fun stuff at all. And uh, I really want to finish my courses. So um, I'll be back to a regular uploading schedule in the next couple days, but I've just been busy and I hope you guys understand that real life comes first. I like real life things because swag, but yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much it. Uh, this is a 12 and 0 in three rounds on the map Overlord. One of my better maps. If you kind of just lock down the B site, generally you'll win, especially on offense, which all the three rounds are on offense, and I just win because of it. But um, I've been hearing some stuff in the community uh, talking about whether you guys should be using Marathon, Agility, both, neither. And I want to give you guys my input because uh, I've been seeing a lot of people that are like, Oh, don't use Agility. Don't do it. It's a trap. And I'm here to tell you it's not a trap. Search and destroy. Trust me, I'm a doctor. But um, I want to tell you what I use on my different classes and uh, help you guys be more aggressive players and just you know win more gunfights. So... Starting off with submachine guns and shotguns, generally I like to run both agility and marathon. It helps me win more uh, gunfights because I can rush closer, get up in their face close and personal, and flank them as fast as possible, which I think is a lot more beneficial than if I had neither or just one. So uh, put both on for SMG and shotgun classes in my opinion. Uh, when it comes to assault rifles, you can put on both. I generally do not like to do it. Uh, I'll use it for more of the close range assault rifles like the Honey Badger, the SA-805. Uh, I can't think of any more off the top of my head, but the, the more close range ones, I think the FAD is one as well, but I like doing that uh, in case I want to rush pretty quickly and, I don't know, just get up close and personal with those weapons that are more like medium range and stuff like that it works but generally on my assault rifle classes i find that you miss out on some things like ready up um if you put your classes together with marathon and agility so i generally don't do that i usually just run agility and like a pistol secondary um that allows me to pretty much gain the same amount of map control as if i just had an assault rifle with marathon and agility but I have an extra perk slot and you know you don't really want to be sprinting all the time with an assault rifle because you can get caught off guard uh, just trying to sprint around and assault rifles are generally better for longer ranges but um, moving on to the long range weapons like the LMGs, the marksman rifles, sniper rifles generally if I'm going to use any speed perk it's going to be agility it's not really necessary for them but I, I like doing that on my assault on not my assault rifles the uh, LMGs just to get better map control but that's pretty much it I hope you guys did enjoy this quick tip for today and I hope you guys keep on enjoying gaming but my name is Citizen Nuketown and I'm signing out peace guys